Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And I want to go ahead and start out by answering last episode's deep thought question. And it was, if you could add, if well, what was your favorite thing that was added since the adventure update? And my favorite thing, I said my example was hunger. But to be honest, I think my actual answer is hunger. Because... I don't I didn't exactly like the old system where if you for instance if you had bread and let's say you were down seven and a half hearts, you click you right click three times and you're up to full health. I didn't exactly like that because it made fighting mobs a little bit too easy and it wasn't very fun. So I like the hunger, it kind of makes a little bit more sense and it's just kind of more practical. So since last episode I have replaced this whole ceiling with nether brick, or most of it at least. Still working on it. Still trying to figure out the design I want. Uh, I was working on the staircase over here. This whole thing right here is gone now. Also over here, I was working on a design. I couldn't find what I wanted to do for this room exactly, but what I eventually ended up doing was taking this middle column out that was right here. I took that out and it kind of opened the room up a little bit and I actually like it a lot better and instead of having the enchanting room out like it was out here before I put it into this little corner I think that's a little bit easier to get to plus it's a little bit nicer looking I like the look of the, sta the uh, sandstone bricks or whatever you would call these they're just sandstone but they're the different kinds the smoother ones I made this room kind of so it curves around I actually like it a lot. Uh, it really look, does look nice, in my opinion. Uh, the ceiling right here, you can see I kind of had to work with it. I kind of had to mold it. I don't think I'm finished. I may end up changing these three blocks here to sandstone to continue it from here to here. But I'm not 100% sure. And I made a little room for my bed here. I haven't finished the ceiling or the floor. Because my bed was over here before, and now it's moved. My cat is rolling around in my chair. Alright, and this is going to be the final look of the staircase. I don't like having this much half slabs on here, and that cat won't shut up. Uh, I don't like having all of them right here, but... Oh, that might be a little bit better. Uh, I still think it looks pretty nice, in my opinion. I'm still waiting on all the grass to grow. It's taking a long time, actually. But it's it's coming along very, very slowly. And for this episode, I thought I'd do a little bit more decorating on camera. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is get a lot of wood, which I actually st sat there and chopped down a bunch of trees. I force grew them in my little tree area up there, which is actually helpful. I didn't think I would ever use it, but I have ended up using it. That's kind of loud in my uh, speaker. Ah, dang it. Alright, there. So what I think I'm going to do to kind of tie this room together is put a line of wooden blocks along the side. I think it kind of looks more organized if I do it that way. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. On this side, it's going to be kind of tricky because it's kind of close to this thing. So I may take them out in front of it. But, nah, we'll see. Oh, crap. And, I don't... I don't want to jump down here because I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up. But, that'll work. Alright, so back to the decorating. Uh, I've been getting a lot of work done in this place, actually. But I haven't been able to put out an episode here recently because I just haven't been in the recording mood. I don't know what it was. I was just not feeling like recording. But now I am, so... I'm definitely planning on getting some more episodes. Alright, now here's the question. Should I make it go here? Yeah, definitely. And right here, I'm going to continue the grass. So I don't know if I should put one there or not. So I'm going to leave it blank for now. 
And I think I'm just going to stretch this all the way around. Oh, for the same thing here. Uh, I don't know if I should or not. I'll leave it blank. Ah, oh, crap. There goes my last shovel. I'm starting to use wood shovels again. Oh, that's a lot faster. Because they're just a lot easier to make. And it doesn't cost me as much. Yet, they're still pretty fast. So, I think it's a sacrifice worth doing. In my opinion. Okay, um, how should I continue that? I actually think I'm just going to have it end right there. Yeah, I might... I might end up doing something with it later on. But for now, that's just going to be it. And for this chest here, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here or not. It doesn't have anything in it except broken tools and my fortune pick. But it still is kind of serving a purpose, I guess. I, I don't know. But I might end up moving that to somewhere else in the base. Because down here, we're kind of full. I kind of have slots for everything except for the skeleton drops. I might change that to something else. I mean, I guess I could put it in, like, this top chest where there isn't anything. Yeah, that would work. All right, I'm going to let my cat outside, and I will be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, so these tools, I'll probably move them into that chest down there. I don't know if I should do it now or not. Hmm, I have... Oh, I got an idea. Instead of continuing this wooden line here, there's already a line of wood here. So I think I'm just going to have it end right there. That actually won't look too bad. Ah, that, that looks weird. Might as well cover them up. Alright, how did I end up with an odd number? Oh, this. Um, I think I have enough room to hold everything, don't I? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't need that. Oh, come on, pick up the chest. Alright. Hmm. Need to go ahead and put some stuff away. Alright, and the main reason I'm keeping all of these tools is so whenever I get a lot of almost broken diamond pickaxes, I plan to switch them and repair them all at once. So that way, hopefully, I can actually end up with almost a fully uh, repaired pickaxe. It's kind of inefficient, but you do gain, I think it's plus 20%, I think, on, a, on repairing pickaxes. So it's definitely worth keeping. I don't normally keep my iron pickaxes because they're just not worth it. But I am going to keep these, the diamond ones at least, because they do serve some purpose. Alright, is there enough light here? Alright, hang on. I figured out doing that helps my computer run so much faster. If you hold down shift and then press F3, you don't get all the graphs, and the graphs actually lag your computer pretty bad. So uh, if you get lag, if you get lag spikes whenever you do that, I would recommend just holding down shift when you press it. And that gets rid of them. That's kind of handy. I do that to check the light level. Because it, it's kind of efficient. And as for this farm that we made a few episodes ago. It's actually doing really well. Probably too well. I mean I think I have four stacks of melons and a stack of pumpkins already. And the bad thing is I don't need them. I mean I have no use for them. I mean I guess the melons I have somewhat of a purpose for. Or a use. But there's not all too much. I mean, I can use them to eat, but I also have my wheat farm in that corner over there, which I still haven't updated. I need to. I might put that over here or over there to give another reason to come over here. I uh, still haven't finished decorating this place. You can obviously tell it. This place is a mess. But I just felt I needed to make a video because this is taking a lot of stone right here. And since I don't have a pickaxe that has silk dutch on it, I can't just mine out stone and get the uh, actual stone blocks. Right now, with all this grass, I had to bring it down here manually, which was kind of kind of a pain, but it was definitely worth it. Kind of ties this area together, and I'm just kind of running around pointlessly. 
Um, what else? What else? Uh, I need to replace some of this with wood, but I want to go ahead and make some shovels. Yeah, I have no cobble. Whatever. I don't know how much of a stone lining I want to, or of a wood lining I want to do. I think I'm just going to put it around every single spot and see how it looks. And if it's too much, then I'll probably end up taking some of it out and replacing it with some grass. Ah, that's not worth it. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think what else has gone on since the last video. I don't honestly know. Not much though. It's been kind of, kind of laid back for me. I haven't been doing very much. Oh well, but it's nice. All right, now I don't know if I should bring a wood line around this, or if that would cut this a little too close. That might cut it a little too close. Also, I might take out this wall and push it back one. Actually, I need to go ahead and do that so it it fits a little bit better. Right now, it's kind of kind of thin. I think that'll widen it out just a little bit. And I think that'll be enough so you don't have to deal with anything. Alright, stone bricks. Actually, you know what I need to do is go caving. I haven't been caving in a while. And I'm not I'm not starting to run out of resources. I'm actually nowhere near, but I don't know, I just I feel like I need to go caving for some odd reason. Uh, I've been smelting a lot of stone recently, trying to uh, to get enough stone to obviously fill all this place in with stone bricks. But it's just... I didn't think smelting stone like that would take that much. But I mean, I've gone through several stacks in just no time doing this. Oh, come on. I need wood... Alright, now, how does that look? That actually doesn't look too bad. I was afraid it'd kind of be messed up here because of that. But I can just bump that back one if I have to. Hmm. And... I would say that wall may need to be bumped back one more, but... No. It's fine. Uh, that means we're gonna need another row of nether brick. Definitely. Uh, you know what I need to do is work on the entrance to the downstairs area. It's kind of, kind of empty. Uh, what did I come down here for? Again, I, every single time I do that, I come down here and I forget the entire reason I came down there. It's crazy. It's like a, it's like a curse. I just can never remember why I go down or why I do any, oh crap. Isn't that nice? <laughs> You guys would be surprised how many times I've done that. Like, see all these spots where water... No, not where the water is, but on the sides of them, there's sand. And I had all that sand fall through. And it's not the simple solution of, oh, just... You know, it's fine. Oh, uh, where'd it fall from? Right here. There's a piece of sand. Oh, come on. And then you have to do that. Oh, yeah. One thing I also did was replace the ceiling in here. I'm not done, actually nowhere near. I still have this part to do. But I kind of like it. The sandstone and nether brick again. Probably put a glowstone block in the middle. But it kind of kind of ties the room together. I mean, I've been meaning to light up the ceiling for a while. But I never really come up here very often because there's no reason to. Except when I'm working in the base and I mess something up. So there's really no need for me to have to worry about it. Oh my god. Again, another one. These things are a pain to deal with, and it's washing away my torch. <sighs> I think, it, yeah, it fell right here. Oh crap, that sends them. Where's this? Oh. I'm like, did I not pick up the sand? Uh, crap. Oh, well. Alright. 
Oh, what else? What else? What else? Did I finish the ring around here? I I'm pretty sure. I didn't actually even bother to check. Um yeah, this entrance needs a lot of work. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't I'm not really sure what exactly I want to do. The problem is I've been kind of going off of just a quick instinct when in building this place, which is why it kind of looks weird. I think it kind of looks unorganized because I didn't exactly plan it. I just kind of started building and I don't know why I've had that habit for who knows how long. Oh yeah, also fixed the ceiling from before. Move this line a little bit that way so it's even. Um I'm I don't think anything else has changed. Oh yeah, moved the enchanting room, but I think I already told you that. Uh yes, we have dirt. I need to go ahead and tidy this place up. I'm tempted to do sandstone on the bottom and then nether brick on the top. But I don't know, I've kind of used that a lot, but then again I've also used this. I'll tell you what, I think it'd look cool if we did sandstone and then nether brick. And, um... Yeah, leave the side stone brick. I think it'd make it look pretty nice. Oh yeah, I was working on replacing this tunnel all with stone brick. Again, it's just taking me a while. Uh, I don't know why. Like, a lot of things that I'm doing, they're just... They're not entertaining to watch on camera, so I don't really want to record it. Because it'd be kind of a waste. But, I mean, if you guys want to see it, tell me, because I'd be happy to show you. But, I just don't... It'd be surprising for me to see if somebody actually enjoyed watching it. Because a lot of the, uh... A lot of the decorating I do, it takes me a long time, because most of the time I'm not focusing. I'm actually kind of focused right now, so I want to get as much done as I can. Um, oh. Alright. But, yeah, most of the time I just kind of, I get distracted, I'm like, oh, I need to go do this, and I go do that. Or I just get bored and get off, and I'm out. Crap. That's what happens most of the time. I just kind of quit and do something else for a while. Come back and then I'm like, oh crap, I should have finished. Never end up really getting much done. I just kind of mess around. <laughs> That's all I seem to be doing recently. But I'm going to try to tighten up on it and get some more videos out. Again, I've been kind of lazy with them recently. I haven't been uploading actually very often. As often as I'd want, at least. Um, so, yeah, I'm planning on changing that, uh, for this. It looks kind of plain. I have an idea. Maybe I can kind of give the room some depth, I'm hoping. I need two more pieces of sandstone. No need for this. And I need... Stone brick stairs. I don't know if that'll be enough, but I got plenty of stone bricks. Just need to get that crafting table from up here and bring it over there. Okay. So what I've decided to do is replace these walls. Um, instead of using just regular stone bricks. I want to use stone brick stairs. I think that'll kind of give the room a little bit of depth. At least, just a little bit. I mean, if it doesn't give it much, just as long as it gives it some, I'll be happy. I'm not looking for very much. And so far, from what I can see from it, it looks pretty nice. It just kind of stands out a little bit. And that's kind of what I'm actually shooting for. Just something that, something that you normally wouldn't see. Something that's pretty interesting, though. In my opinion, of course. I'm trying to think of how much I need to do. Like, I don't know exactly how much stairs I want to put in here. Oh, yeah, and I'm 
replacing these walls with cobble because that way it doesn't leak light in and have that lighting glitch because it, it's, it's actually happening on this side and we have to go back and fix that later but I'm going to do all that off camera because it's kind of boring to watch um, yeah this place is looking actually nice I'm trying to get this whole room finished like the main design of it I'm ready to go ahead and move on to some other things which I actually haven't planned yet <laughs> but I really want to get some different content out I don't want to just sit here making let's plays of the exact same thing over and over again because that's it seems like I've gotten in kind of a chain of doing that I don't I mean I like making let's plays it's just not you know one every other day or so and that's all Ooh, I have another idea so I don't wanna I don't want to just make let's plays every single time like it, I don't want it to be one of those things where you see a video from me and you're like oh it's just another it's just another let's play episode you know skip I want it to be something that you can kind of watch and be entertained by at least that's at least my goal I mean if you guys aren't entertained please tell me because the feedback is always helpful uh, it always tells me if I'm doing a good job, if I'm doing a bad job. Uh, as well, for the... Uh, I haven't really talked about this. For those deep questions that I've been asking f at the end of every video, I don't know if I'm going to continue that or not. I don't know very many questions to ask. Because, I mean, like my first one, it was, it was a good one. It was, uh, if you could add anything from the old Minecraft into the new Minecraft, what would it be? Or anything from the new Minecraft to the old Minecraft, what would it be? That was interesting, but that's like a one-time thing. So I can't exactly ask it again and be like, yeah, I'm just going to ask the same question for those who didn't answer. I mean, I want, it to, I, want it to dip, I want it to change. I don't want it to be the same thing over and over again. What's the fun in that? Uh, so, yeah. Tell me what you think about that. If you like them, tell me, because I'd be happy to keep doing them, but I just need more questions. That's my only problem. I mean, if you guys have questions that you'd like me to ask for other people to answer, tell me, because, you know, I'd be glad to. I'm always glad to. Hmm, this is this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought to decorate this room. I thought it'd just be something kind of quick, which is why I was going to record it, but it's kind of kind of lasted oh well this room is it's starting to look nice so I like it I think the only problem with it is it's kind of dark there's not very much light in here and that might cause a problem wait I have an idea um wait yes Alright, this might be kind of stupid, but at the same time, cool. Alright, I need a barrier. So what I want to do is I kind of want to have some ghost lighting in here. Not very much, but still some. So I'm going to need stairs across here. And dump my lava in there. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and cover it up so I don't end up falling in it. And, no, I don't want to take the long route. It'd be a waste of time. Uh, I can dig right in through here. I'm a genius. No, not really. Uh, how does that look? I like it. I like it a lot. Now, whether I'm going to keep it, I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. I kind of like it, though, because it adds in some real, like, mystery to the room. Uh, mobs can spawn in here pretty, pretty decently, so I may have to replace the floor with upside-down half slabs, which luckily you can do, and no mobs will spawn on them, which I think is kind of stupid, but at the same time, awesome. So, uh, that's, that's an idea. That's a really good idea, actually. 
Okay. And I think I know a trick to doing this, actually. Taking this middle piece out, dropping a bucket of lava right there, and then uh, putting a step there, and then it'll just fill in. So, that's actually a really good idea, but all my lava is kind of far away. Like, I have some in my ravine at my branch mine. That's just kind of sitting there. I put it there just in case if I needed it for one day, and it looks like I'm going to need it. So, I'm going to go and get that. Oh, crap. My OCD is going to get to me so bad with this room, because, like, each corner piece like that needs to be all stone brick. I want everything perfect. Or else I'm just going to, like, fall over from OCD. Oh, crap. Okay. So, I'm going to go get some lava, and I will be right back with you guys. Alright, so on my way back from the ravine, I ended up running into some mobs, as I figured I would, because I left that place unlit. And the main reason was just to test if, to see if mobs actually would spawn in here. And we had a skeleton, so... Nothing too major, but it just goes to show you that they will spawn. So that's something to take into consideration. But it's not a big deal. We can we can deal with it. And that's going to be the look of this place, I think. Looks nice. I still have to put the lava in here, but I think I know, may know a little cheat to do that. That I can only use one lava source for it. Oh, crap. Uh, let's use cobble for now. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Um, yeah, those are going to have to be taken out. And then I think I can dump a bucket of lava here. And then cover it up real fast, and it'll be fine. Alright, let's test it. It's perfect. Oh, and then you get the little lava effects down here. That's awesome. And I lost a piece of uh, nether brick. That sucks. Oh well. So, uh, gonna replace the floor. Do that off camera. Or, or do it now. I think I'm just gonna end the video after this. So, yeah, I can just make this the last part of it. Now, the cool thing is, this will save me on half of the, uh, the sandstone used. So, that's... It's kind of a help. Alright, that'll be plenty. And I'm going to have to dig down a row so I can actually get to placing these. And I guess I'm going to use cobble. Oh, crap. This is going to be kind of tricky. Can I place it straight from here or no? Nope. Dang. This pick is a little, little bit too much efficient. I don't know if that's possible or not, but it, it kind of is. I actually didn't expect it to because it's only efficiency 3. But still, it's it's a good pick. Alright, the last thing I want to do is trap myself in here, so I kind of have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace that one later. And you can see this actually working now. It's the exact same look, surprisingly, but it actually... No mobs will spawn on it. No matter what, actually, so it's perfect. Alright, this is... This is nice. Okay, I have an idea... We'll dig down here. Ha. Huh. Oh, crap. Now, how do I get out? I guess dig my way over here. I don't know why I'm doing this like this. I think I have to, actually. I don't think I have a choice. Because it's kind of tricky to get out of here once you're stuck down in it. 
which is actually the point of me doing all this. I mean, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't be, but, you know, what choice do I have? Alright, so for this, I think I'm just going to do the same thing, upside down half slabs. And that should work out perfectly, I'm hoping at least. Because if this doesn't, then I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have very much of a... Oh, crap. Um, we're kind of stuck at an issue. I can't place this thing. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, that sucks. I mean, I guess sandstone and then the bed. I mean, I guess that'll be fine. Can I sleep? Yeah. Uh, will I suffocate? Of course. Alright, now that's not going to work. So, we're going to have to find a different way of placing the bed. What if we place it in the floor? So, instead of having these, we just had normal... Oh, duh. Mobs won't spawn on the bed anyway, so... We're fine. So, no mobs will spawn in here now, even though the light level... Wait. How's the light level so high? Oh, from over there. You can see in the corners here, the block light is still at 4 in the corners. And it goes up to 6, but mobs can spawn in anything 7 or lower. So you can say basically that this half of the uh, room mobs would be able to spawn in. But since I can do this little trick, they won't. So, that's helpful. Uh, from going and getting all the lava the grass has started to spread even more it's getting close to being done actually so I'm I'm pretty happy all of this is grown in I need to replace this with stone brick still I actually have a few I've already ended up using like four stacks in this place just decorating this part so it's becoming kind of expensive but you know it's it's always worth it and one thing I didn't even realize is that ceiling may become nether brick, and I already replaced it with stone brick. Oh well, not not too big of a change. I can easily just go in and fix it. That's the one thing that I love about Minecraft. You can just change anything to however you want it. Just that freedom. It's amazing. Um, I guess now would be a good time to talk about the channel. Uh, I've been thinking about changing this to an actual gaming channel instead of just a channel all about Minecraft. But the problem with that is I've gained all of my subscribers through Minecraft and probably a few through Skyrim. So I've, I have very, very little subscriber. Probably the interest rate in you guys is probably very, very low for any other videos besides Minecraft. So I'm kind of afraid, well I'm not exactly afraid to, but I just, I don't want to upload something people aren't going to watch. So, oh that can be stone brick, okay. So yeah, I don't want to upload something people just aren't going to bother to watch. I want them, I mean I want to get views on my videos. And is that, Oh crap, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. So yeah, I want to. I want to actually entertain my my uh, subscribers rather than just you know handing out videos and whoever sees them sees them. I'd rather you guys be able to watch my videos directly. So yeah, I'd, I think I'm just gonna stick with making Minecraft videos for now. Uh, if my channel gets enough popularity in the in the uh, long run, then I mean I consider it. I mean it's always it'd be always a consideration, but just not at the moment. Uh, that wood's gonna have to come out as well. Uh, so yeah, for now, regular channel, nothing changing about that. Uh, perfect. That actually flows pretty nice. I think I'll just leave it like that. And the 
this needs to be stone brick and it fit perfectly <laughs> uh, this needs to be wood and that actually curves pretty nice I don't like the wall being flat like that I think I like that better I might bring it out even one more so it has a little bit even more bend but yeah this place is starting to look really nice adding in some extra features all these walls will be stone brick probably not by the end of next episode or probably not the be by the beginning I just don't think I'll spend that much time on it between now and then so yeah I think I think this is gonna be the end of the episode here thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed it uh, if you have any ideas on how I can make this place look nicer leave a comment I'm always open to suggestions uh, if you have an idea of what I should do down here leave a comment because I mean I plan to make the storage system there but I made it down here so yeah tell me if you have any idea for something down there because I don't right now I actually don't even know what to do up here I was talking I was thinking to myself about like some type of garden uh, there's not really enough room I mean I guess I could plant a few things uh, one I one idea I had was knocking back this wall probably five blocks and making this a bigger open area and then uh, making a garden here like adding in some fountains some lamps probably even keep my cats here which <laughs> to be honest I think my cats are somewhere lost in a cave so we'll probably never see them again if we don't I'll probably end up making a uh, probably a burial place right here I don't know well we'll just have to see if they're not out here then they're probably over at my sand farm that are in a cave of course I don't know what they are like something with the uh, 1.2.4 update is they'd follow you randomly like if they were sitting you'd find them sorry about that got a phone call but uh, something with the cats AI like if they were sitting and you like apparently walk too far away from the, uh, the point like basically they would not be stored in the cache anymore in the game cache so they'd be stored in the actual data of the game and I guess something with them since they were like active they would follow you I don't know that's that's my guess of course I'm just taking a wild shot out here so uh, yeah this is gonna be the final look of this place those glowstones will probably be raised up if not put in the floor I'm gonna try to hide them so they're not just out I mean the glowstone in the ceilings fine this is fine in the floor no so yeah this is gonna be the end of this episode guys like I said I'll see you guys next time which I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing I need to do something with this wall I might do some pixel art actually I don't know what I could fit here but I mean it'd be worth a shot yeah I guess I mean I don't know so yeah I'll see you guys next time I don't know what to say but yeah see ya